Welcome Year 6, I'm Miss Hardy, Director of Creative Arts at Jobham Academy. Today I'd like to offer you a warm welcome from the Art Department. And then we're going to move on to some games and quizzes to find out how creative you are and how creative you actually think you are. Good luck! To warm you up we're going to challenge a duel between the right side of your brain and the left side. So your task is to read the colour and not the word. The right side of your brain tries to say the colour, while the left insists you say the word. OK, here goes, I'm going to have a try. Green, red, black, yellow... <sighs> Again. Green, red, black, blue, purple, red, red... <sighs> OK, so now it's your turn. See how far you can get. Remember, you can always press pause on this film if you need a little longer. Now it's time for the quickfire general knowledge art quiz. Who is the artist? Vincent van Gogh, Toulouse-Lautrec, Leonardo da Vinci or Renoir? What is the title of this famous painting? The artist was confined to a French asylum by the time he created this self-portrait. Who was he? Who distorted this lovely lady? Pablo Picasso, Man Ray or Max Ernest? Who is this crazy artist? Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali or Max Ernest? You will recognise this work by Salvador Dali, but what type of painter was he? An impressionist, cubist, surrealist, abstract or expressionist? Who painted the scream? Was it Kandinsky, van Gogh or Munch? Here are some of the most expensive pieces of art ever sold. The clues are around the edge, but how much do you think the Leonardo da Vinci piece in the middle sold for in 2019? The answers. Leonardo da Vinci, Mona Lisa, Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, Surrealist, 342 million... Queen Elizabeth and tea bags. So how many did you get right? Now it's time for you to get creative. In the next half an hour you'll be looking at how type can be transformed into a creative and expressive form. This is often used on signage or as part of promotional material but looking back at this piece by artist Roy Lichtenstein from 1963 you can see the impact the imagery had on the text. Wham! Here is your challenge. Here is your list of challenge words. I want you to think about how you can transform these words into their meaning using only pencil and paper. Here are some examples from the internet. I love the way the slime drips from the branch. And here are some far more impressive examples from last year's Year 6 Transition Day. My personal favourite has to be the word pencil made up entirely from pencils. This is your chance to be creative. You can use the words on the list I've given or you can use your imagination and be free with your ideas. Most students find that they're far more creative than they've ever given themselves credit for when they complete this task. So now you have 20 minutes, go away, think about the words, look around you and be inspired and then reflect on your level of creativity. Okay, so hopefully some of that was helpful and it's good to know that creativity comes in all different shapes and forms. How you think about art now is not necessarily what you're going to think about art in the next few years. It was lovely speaking to you today and I'm excited to meet you all in person in September. Take care, look after yourselves and stay safe. See you soon. Bye.